Okay, the first thing that we're going to look at is Bryce Harper's negative movement and how he loads his back hip. So as we can see, he's going to get into his back hip there, not getting into his back leg. He's not getting into his quad. He's getting into his back hip. So just watch. He's loading his back hip. And you can see he's immediately going forward once he gets into full hip pinch again. We're watching this area here. We think about loading our back hip, not loading our hands. Again, just watching his back hip. There it is, fully pinched. You can see how he's going forward. Now, as he goes forward, you can see how he is getting his weight ready to transfer. And watch what his hands are doing. See how they're going back. Nothing's coming forward. Nothing's coming forward. Again, he loads his back hip. He's into his back hip, not his back leg. Then as he gets to toe strike right there, you can see how everything is still back. His chin's over his belly button. You can see that nothing has started to open up here. Nothing has started to turn here. It's not going to be until he gets into what we call immediate preparation, where that foot's going to come down, and now we're going to start to see that hip drive forward. That looks like this. See how he's going out to the ball? Nothing forward at toe touch. As that front heel comes in, now we can see he is engaging that lower half. And right now, if we look at his front hip and we put a mark there, now his break is set. And you can see how he's not going forward anymore as he gets the contact. We talk so much about how we use our lower half because if we aren't getting our lower half loaded correctly, again, you can really see as we look at the isolation, negative movement into back hip load, maintains that back hip load at toe touch. Nothing has come undone. Nothing open there, nothing turned there. Now, you can see, as we kind of scroll out, watch how he's going to get separation between his lower half, and you can see how his back elbow has moved independent of his hands. He engages his lower half, see how the back elbow goes independent of his hands. And you can see, I skipped forward a frame there, the massive stretch he creates. Let me go frame by frame here. Toe touch. Front heel down, now he's creating that stretch. You can see how much he's getting that lower half to go before his hands because his back elbow just went. Now we can see as he comes through, his hands are connected to his back shoulder and he's able to go straight to the ball. And that's a home run.